guys, welcome to the workshop. So we're going to be working on the lathe today, the machine in the day. Um, now I, I have done, you know, quite a lot of the uh, modifications to the lathe, but uh, so I just want to make a video document and showing you how easy it is to actually do. Uh, I'll I'll get to the lathe and I'll show you what I'm talking about now. So obviously on the lathe here, you've got three separate parts. Uh, you've got this bottom part that connects to the actual bed that you know it slides along the bed here. Um, and then you've got the cross slide that's on top of that. That's, it, that's this bit here. And then this bit here, you've got the carriage, which will go this way and that way. But obviously, the actual saddle itself does that. And what this bit is really for is if you're wanting to cut angles, you know, if you want to do a, a, a certain angle on a piece, uh, then you can you can turn this. This whole bit here will turn. Uh, when you've got a speed degree, uh, indicator here look but the problem with the mini lathes are is that they're, they're not very stable they're, they're, they're slight plate of them now we're going to be making a metal block um, to, uh, to take this away so that this tool post can sit right on top of that now I've not got a full piece I've got two inch um, billets um, so that's what we're going to be using and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to going to clean them up because they're all rusty and minging. Uh, we'll clean them up and then I'm going to put chamfers on each of the side like that. And then we're going to weld them together. Now, under here, there's screws. So there are uh, uh, screws to this bottom part, the cross slide. And then obviously this uh, bolt, this bolt bolts right to this, uh, this block that we're making. So... Uh, as long as we weld it properly, it should be solid, man. So, I let's get to it, guys.
definitely know the prettiest one. Mm. But no, 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 I, I, I done that deliberately. I, I, you know, tiger stripes look. <laughs> it does look pretty cool, but uh, the fact is, guys, there's some holes here and there, wee voids. Um, but it seems pretty solid to me. Uh, it looks like obviously that's two different types of steel. Um, the the welding rods that I used were were just general purpose. Um, uh, number E N two five sixty. So I don't know. And then this is just mild steel. So I'm not quite sure why we've got a difference there, but um seems alright. And I might proceed. Uh, Perfect size. Fat. Just let me see. Bigger bolts. Um, these heats have not got, no got the same type of line. As long as that, as long as these go in here flush, then we're good. Which they do. Nice. So we just need to pull these out to well, a bit bigger than these, so that I can get a socket in there to tighten them. I do now to get us back in the chuck and drill a 14 mil hole. Want that in there like that. Line it up. Hopefully, I don't need to trim these bolts down. Not the day. Perfect. Snug. But that. Hey guys, thanks for watching that there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Now, to be honest, I, it seems like it, it, it leaves 
a better surface finish, but it's most certainly no wanting to take any deeper cuts. Um, and it, there does seem to be a bit of vibration when I try and take a deeper cut, which uh, I've never done that before with the carriage, so uh, I don't know, to be honest. It's certainly solid, there is no movement in it at all, and there was a slight play um, when I had the carriage on it, so it's definitely eliminated that. Uh, Hence why we're getting just a cleaner uh, surface finish. But I so so I'm, as I said, I'll, I've got a, I've ordered a big chunky steel, and I'm going to use that square flat bar to actually make it a better bit, and I'll, I'll compare them, see how they work, see how uh, they compare. Um, but I so I there we go, guys. That's it. I appreciate you watching, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this one. Um, so I will see you in the next project guys alright, take it easy and God bless guys, I built some, see you later.